Day two of the world famous mining show in Toronto, Canada. Today we're talking with Plato Gold, but incidentally, we're not talking about gold. We're talking about something else in Plato Gold with our good friend Anthony Cohen. That's right. Well, thanks, Peter. Great to be here. We're going to talk a little bit about niobium today. Niobium is on the periodic table. Yes, it is. It's uh, NB, right. uh, number 41, if I remember correctly. And it's a rare grayish metal. It's not a rare earth, but it's very rare. It's okay. only mined in three places on earth. Two in Brazil. Two in Brazil, you got it. And? One in Quebec. And I'm imagining Brazil produces the majority of the... 93% of the world's niobium. So we are vulnerable to supply chain interruptions. Absolutely. So where's your, where's your project? Our project, I believe, has the best location in the world, bar none. You take the Trans-Canada Highway, 20 minutes outside of the famous mining town of Marathon, right. and you're there. You just go up a four... Inside uh, Ontario. Uh, oh yeah, inside Ontario. 20 minutes west of Marathon, down the Trans-Canada, up a logging road, you're at our site. So you have access to infrastructure, mining wisdom out of Thunder Bay and Timmins. Canadian Elk. Pacific National... Uh, Canadian Pacific Railway goes right. by. Deepwater ports at Marathon and Thunder Bay, Trans-Canada Highway, mining workforce, you've got everything. And uh, First Nations are business minded, yes, relatively easy to work with. Yes, they are. We're, we're working with them and uh, we have good relations and, and in fact we hire them. When we did our drilling program, uh, we engaged a First Nations uh, company that cleared the road for the drillers to right. get in. Uh, we engaged a uh, First Nations person in core cutting, so we're putting money back into the community. And you know, it's as a junior company, as you know, it's tough. We don't have the giant cash flows of the majors, so we only have money to work with when we raise money and have money. Right. But when we do, we put it back in the community and we which try and do our best. You have to you know. reconnect with the communities in which you live. A absolutely. So are you, we, are you going to be drilling this year? We, we plan on it, yes. We plan on drilling this year. Uh, we'll, we'll have to raise some money to do that, but you know we, we feel confident we'll be able to do that because it's a very good project. And we have some mineralogical and metallurgical studies being done now and if those are favorable I think that's going to be very very favorable to us raising the money to drill because metallurgy is one of the handful of mine killers yes if you have bad metallurgy forget it so it, you're if, doing it relatively early you've only on the project three years well what we did yeah what we did was we drilled nine holes with hundred meter spacing we hit massive carbonatites on every single drill hole yeah. that's the host rock you need to okay. host the niobium and of course the niobiums in the pyrochlores and the apatites in that carbonatites and we, we had we have niobium in every hole and we have you know some large intersections of decent grade like right. we had about 93 meters of but you haven't hit the edges of your... Uh, no, it's open, all directions. Yeah, open. Good, so you have a lot of work to do. We do, and what we really have to do, which is exciting, the discovery was made by Rudy Wall. He's this year's this year's Bill Dennis Award winner for Prospector of the Year, and in fact, he's getting the award. One of the main reasons is this niobium discovery. He's won the uh, the Northwestern Ontario Prospector of the Year Award. Yep. Uh, he, he's now Dr. Rudy Wall. He was given an honorary uh, doctorate at uh, Lakehead University in Thunder right. Bay. Uh, I call him the King of Northern Ontario. So, uh, Investor Intel is hosting a Rare Earths Project. Project Summit in May. Yes. Maybe I can see you there. Absolutely. Thank okay. you for coming in today. Plato Gold, Anthony yes. Cohen. Thanks very much, Peter.